you guys. Good morning. Good mountain morning. On today's episode of a Long Islander Lost in the Mountains. Now, this is actually the first place I ever came. When we moved up here, this is the first place I ever came. This is where I I have the most long-standing relationship with them. With all the forest beings, not just the Sasquatch. Look how close we are to these deer. They? I love that. It is Sunday. Uh, it's summer is kind of is an overcast. So, oh, if you guys uh, get a chance, I put in the community tab. Throw a subscribe over there if you don't mind. To, uh, Anthony had unidentified us for. I'll be on his channel today. <clears throat> I think we're gonna do a. I think he does an hour show on Sunday. But he doesn't just, you know, he doesn't just do podcast. He does uh, boots on the ground. He gets a lot of UFO stuff. Like a lot. It's in Staten Island. There's a lot of stuff flying over there. Um... Hopefully him and Ron from Cosmic Neighbors, Cosmic Neighbors, excuse me, hopefully him and, uh, him and Ron will be out there soon. I got a good feeling about them and they got a good feeling too. I think that they, I think that their energy is going to, is going to breed something special for them. I really do. You know, they say it's like beginner's luck. Like, I don't think it's that at all. I think, of, like, I think people who are new into things, like, are, are fresh and excited. And they bring this new energy, you know? Like, if you go back to one of my videos in the beginning, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Rambling a mile a minute, like, all excited. Crawling under stuff. Climbing on stuff. Like, it was... It's a weird place for a cone. I guess there's a deer out there too. It's not as weird as I thought. I love that they have a little garbage can at the end of every, at the top of where all the trailheads meet. in there something white I don't know what that is so rock it almost looks like a little tent but it's too small to be a tent it's weird that's their uh, off-limits area to an extent, so unless I get some kind of clearance, I'm, I've been asking. I've been asking since we got in here. Telepathically, do you mind? If you notice, look how many, look how many trees are down, laid down, laid down, laid down. There's going to be a lot more things. There's going to be a lot more things laid down in the way now now that the leaves are off the trees and again for those of you who don't know yet to us it don't look like nothing you'd say well it's not blocking anything but it is it's blocking it with energy so 
let's start let's just start here let's just start right here at our feet right this touches that touches that goes this way touches that that tree goes up goes all the way over touches those that connects all these to that one that goes to all those that big tree over there that's down it's connecting to that one goes into that one that one comes into that one see and then it crisscrosses all through here it does that all the way through think i'm full of shit go look go look anywhere go look anywhere and you'll notice that the trees all touch if you if you're in that area there's there's few places i mean this is right off trail i mean here's a trail and you could still find it so usually when it's close to a trail i get it you have people all the time i never see that shit well how far off trail do you go do you ever go off trail probably not because there's people whose job it is to follow up and clear all that crap test that out too Test that out too. Go hang out on the trail on a popular area where there's where you know there's activity or where you see these kind of things being made. Go hang out there. Go before sunrise. Remember last video Ranger Rick was out there? Why what was he doing out there? He wasn't coming. Or was he? He was coming back in to go back inside, so he was doing his rounds. Why would a ranger do rounds at night? Watch them. They carry little freaking, what are they called, sawzalls? They got bigger ones too, but they got big chainsaws. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get back to these guys. thing is not my size. It's too tall for me. I'm torn on which way to go because both both directions are a hell of a lot of fun. It's actually running pretty hard, the water today. Surprise. Listen, I um I spoke to somebody. I know a lot of you guys. Um, I keep finding out that a lot of you guys have been watching for forever. You watch every video. You're there for every live, whatever. And I get it. I get that you don't want to be out in the open, out in the public. Uh, you know, talking. That's fine. That's fine. You just want to listen, and that's cool. For those of you who, if you do want to talk to somebody, I have a good friend. Very, very like-minded in pretty much every way. Uh, he's in California. Anyway, he has uh, agreed, and I don't know when I'm going to set this up with him, but he has at least agreed to... Um, Basically, we'll set up an email, I guess, is the easiest way for most people. We'll set up an email, or he'll, he'll set up an email. And um, anyone that wants to just talk to him anonymously and ask him questions or, you know, just, you know, speak an encounter or whatever, uh, talk about some experiences they're having and just have somebody to talk to, 
we're gonna make that happen for you and it's not gonna be like nobody's gonna push you to be like oh do you want to tell your story like do you want to you know do you want to do a show and this none of that is gonna happen there's gonna be an ear to listen to and somebody to talk to you okay now if you're interested that's cool we're gonna make it available at some point down the line um, I have a lot going on right now, so it's not even in the ground stages yet. It's just an idea so far. So if you think it's a good idea, if you think it's, you know, something, obviously, obviously the people who would want to utilize that wouldn't respond to this. But so for the people who do respond, do you think that's a good idea or do you think it's a waste of time? Do you think there's enough of those people around? Like, uh, let me know. All right, let's get back to the footage. So if you see here, um, that, I gotta be careful where I step, this is the first steps of doozy. You could see that all this stuff has been brought in here and made to lay. See what I'm saying? It's all interconnected on purpose. Those are upside down trees right there, one, two. They're upside down. See it? So that one right there is upside down, and that one right there is upside down. Oh, maybe, no, maybe just that one. It's hard to say. I wish I could get down in there, because I had a cool, I had a cool, let's try and get down there, because whenever I get down on the, on that, like, bluff down there, I usually have good encounters. A lot of footprints down there, too. Not always big ones, but... They, they ain't always small, either. I'll tell you right now, next print we find... Um, if it seems like it's a... Feasible thing... Whoa, there we go. There we go. I had the camera over there, too. So, something, boom, something big and dark. I mean, guys, you you might have barely seen it if you did see it. So, here's where that zoom comes in handy. You could probably push it in there and see if you see what I saw. But something, I was moving, so it was hard to say what it was, but there was a gap where I just saw something, boom. It was tall and dark, unless there's a six, six, seven foot man running through there. I'd imagine they understand that when when we're walking that they would look like just a passing tree, you know? Oh man, they put a big ass X in there. Let's see if I could show it to you. Oh yeah, we'll get a look at it. Oh, it's two of them. So again, like this, some of this stuff might be deadfall, but then uh, this might just all be deadfall. No, it's not. Look, it's interconnecting. You can tell when they do it. It's, it's, those wouldn't go to, that wouldn't fall perfectly into the base of that. And then that base goes off into this way. It's been cut, but look at the bend too. Look how hard that one, that's like five, ten feet off to the, off to the side and it's bent up. What the fuck was that? I thought that was a rock. It's hard to say. No, it's not. Oh, there's a squirrel up there. Two of them, okay? So we debunk it together. If we could debunk it on site, good. That's even better. Makes life a lot easier. Anyway, there's some big X's in there. There's a couple of them.
this is pretty much one of my favorite spots to go. I don't bring the camera in there though. It's uh I don't know how to explain it. Look at that. It's a pareidolia if you want. It's the odds of a face. Eyes, conical head, gray face, dark surrounding hair, blended right in. I know it's blended right in, so people think it's a tree because it's right up against the tree and they can't see the physical body. That's how it is. 90% of the time, that's how it is. We're going to get into it. Like, I'm almost, I feel like I'm almost done with this bending lesson. I've, I'm thinking it's coming to a close soon because they've given me a lot. I mean, it's a lot of information. I've never had to write this stuff down before, so I don't forget it. It's been. I got another clue, too. They gave me another tip on where to find them and how to find them and when they're sending messages. Like, some of this shit is just so obvious, and I'm like, how did. How did, like, how did I not, like, put that together? It's so obvious, literally. It drives me nuts. But, I don't know. Again, maybe it's society is, like, geared us so well at just thinking differently. Yeah, see what I mean? See how these trees all do this? They go in this, like, perfect connection. There's snaps going down into it. There's that, that tree. Look how far off that tree is. It's not like this tree fell. It's not like this tree fell and dragged that one down with it all the way over here. And then tucked it under that log. That whole tree that fell over there got tucked under there. I mean, I don't care if that's what you want to think, that's fine. I can only show you. I'm not here to, like, shove it down nobody's throat. And again, the reason I show that repeatedly is because that was what they showed me. That wasn't something that... That wasn't one of the things that I'm like, well, I think, and maybe... No, they physically said... This is it. This is what we do. So again, I'll reiterate. <clears throat> that doesn't mean that's the only reasons, or that's the only answer. And I can't say that that's the way it is across the board, for sure. But that's the way it is here. I'm pretty sure it works around all over the place, but... Hey, here we go. This is one of my favorite spots to be at. I'll just sit. <clears throat> like, this is the time of year it's already there's nobody here. Like, in the summertime, by sunrise, that parking lot is packed. But once it gets cold like this, off-season, off-peak, um, yeah, people don't come anywhere really I don't know why it's just as nice I gotta tie up my boots I was looking for a specific rock it was kind of cool they, uh, I don't know if it was them but there's like an indent in a rock and then there's another one placed perfectly in it it was the coolest thing I've, well maybe not the coolest thing but it's cool as shit. I don't know how I'm going to find that rock. But I found it last time, so I'm, opti I'm optimistic. <laughs> this is cool. Wow. Look at that bad boy, huh? 
That is a beaut. Wow. That is special. Shit. It looks just like the fountain I have. It's amazing. Sarah's gonna probably be pissed I don't take it home. But the camera don't show how heavy they are. I'm wondering why that's in there. Let's get it out of the water at least. Look at that. Deer, I guess. Looks like deer. And then somebody's, this is sneakers. Somebody's been through here recently. Yeah, it's pretty, f it's fairly recent. I guess people are still using it. I've just been lucky to have it to myself. Ourselves, ourselves. Okay. I like to portray that it's like us out here when when I come out so that they they know that I'm sharing with people. So that way if the, there's no like I screwed you over type thing later. I feel them looking at me right here. So I'm gonna see what we can get. I don't see them yet, I just feel it. To see them, I need to cross. That's what the hell they said. I need to cross if I want to see them there. If we want to see them in there, I need to cross. No, I don't know how I'm going to make that happen by any means. <sighs> let, me, let me tie up and see what happens. All right. Let me, I'll be right back, guys. Actually, here, you know what? Oh. Yeah, I think it'll work. Oh, I think it'll work out. I'll be right back. Okay. 
laced up, but I still can't. It's at least two, two feet deep there. I fell in once last year. Well, it wasn't even once. It was one day last year. I fell in a couple times in the same day. It wasn't pleasant. I can't wait to... Oh, I, I'm getting so much good information. Like, I can't, I can't wait. It seems like it's like I, I should put it into a book. That's what it seems like I'm supposed to be doing because obviously the, the, the word ain't getting out. And I, listen, the last thing I want to do is write a book. That's not me at all. Not me at all. I don't even like to sit down and do anything. I'd rather be out here. I almost want to do like a, you know how like, somebody reads to you or like books on tape like I want to do it in reverse <laughs> just talk and have somebody write let's see how let's see if it thinned out over here nah it's really deep today Or at least in this section. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. It don't look like it. It really don't look like it. Over here I can see the ripples. So I know there's rocks. So I know it comes up high. But they tend to be very slippery. Alright my friends. Maybe another time. That ain't the last of them anyway. They're all over this place. <clears throat> Sometimes I wish I could tell you guys where I am. I know a lot of people do that. They, they give the location and coordinates and they show on a map where it is. And that's all part of the fun. And I can't. I mean, I guess that's okay, like, when you're not really showing them. Let me ask you guys this. Why do people idolize guys, like, on TV and shit when, like, the, most of these TV shows, not all of them, most of them, they don't find anything. Ever. Like, when I spoke to Bobo and when I spoke to Cliff, like, it was cool. It was cool to talk to those guys. They were down to earth. They weren't exactly the guys who they were portrayed as on TV. You know what I mean? But, um... I don't know. Like, some of these people, they just... They don't do good for the... For the cause, I'll tell you that much. They make these guys out to be so elusive. Like, they make these forest beings out to be so elusive. They're not. They're really freaking not. What we need to do is start paying attention to the people who are really interacting. And see what works and what doesn't work. They will let us in. They will let you in. They will let you in. If you go out there, they will let you in. They will show themselves to you. What you do with that, what you do with your outing, what you do with, you know, when you're in the woods, that matters. Then what you do, if they show themselves to you, that matters. What you do after, matters. If you kick a squirrel, that matters. If you walk around kicking down trees, that matters.
If you plant a tree, oh, that matters too. In a good way. Pick up trash, that matters in a good way. If you litter, that matters too. You see what I'm saying? Kind of like, oh, this is the spot I sit at. Oh, look at that. Why is that there? There's a nail or something with a, like, a... that's bullshit. This is where I sit. Why is that there? Put a pipe cleaner on it? It's weird. It's almost like it's been marked. I don't like that. Dangerous too. What if, some, what if a little kid walks by here? I'm like, damn, that pisses me off. Hang on, I gotta get this thing out. Alright, guys, did my best. I was trying to hammer it off with that rock there. It's, I just hammered it down for now. I don't know why that's there, but this is where I sit right here. It's kind of like my recliner chair for the for nature. I put my back right up against these two. Kick my legs out this way, and I just, uh, I don't know, I guess you could call it meditation, but I just soak up nature, I I vibe with nature, you know, I, I practice Reiki, so I took Reiki and I, I twisted it into, you know, Bigfooting, you know, if you will, and, uh, and connecting through energies and healing energies and, um, that's how, that's how I tweaked it. So I tweaked it to be personal and use it out here. So it works well for me. I, uh, I thought about bringing that into... For a while I was doing it on Facebook. When I was doing Facebook Lives, I was doing little excerpts about it and how it works. And, but uh, some people liked it. Some people liked it. Unfortunately, and it's not unfortunate, I shouldn't say unfortunately, um, you know, I don't have a million hours a week, I really don't. I have more hours than most do because, because I'm a disabled veteran, but I don't have a, you know, I have a huge family that, I have a huge family that, Needs an active father. So that's what I have to be first, right? So I choose to be first. As much as I love this, as, as important as it is, there's, you know, people who depend on me. Luckily, this hobby don't cost much. You know, obviously, I'm still using a cell phone. I have a big cracked screen, and it, be, it becomes difficult. But I enjoy using it. I don't dislike using it. I just... I need a new one, though. I need to upgrade. This one's about three years old. Believe it or not, the storage is expensive, though. Like, storage space gets expensive. If you ever see me, like, yesterday where I upload a bunch of videos, like, I, I, I had to get rid of some. I had to get rid of some because I just didn't, I didn't want to upload 10 videos in one day. What happens with that is, like, I don't mind uploading a few, but the, even then... Some of them get lost in the source, and, and people only see one, maybe two of them, and then maybe they'll miss the important one, because I posted a bunch, and granted I post everything, and that's, I just think that's the way it should be, that's just me. But there's some that don't make the cut, because when I have to clear out storage space like I did to so I could film this morning, now, in order to get back... 
I can't share it to YouTube from from my uh, storage or whatever. So what I have to do is download it all over again. So sometimes that's just it's not that I don't mean to. I just it just gets lost, it gets lost in the sauce, for lack of better words. All right, We're coming to a close. This is where they're going to be later in, later in the year. We're going to spend a lot of time in here. You see this? You see how it's all pined out? Sorry, got a little, got a little foggy on the screen. There's a lot of new stuff happening in here. Good squirrel. Hey, buddy. So, let's just look at this. Look at this big X here. Goes up. Just perfectly touches into that tree. Fine. Maybe it just fell that way, right? You could tell this one was coming out into it. There's more going on. If you look down, everyone always only looks like at eye level. Or people always just look down because they're looking for footprints. Not a lot of people look up, which I'm guilty of. Totally guilty of. Why am I not looking up? Look at how tall these beautiful trees are. I'll tell you why I don't look up a lot. The ones that go up are usually female. This is my experience. I'm not saying it's across the board. The ones that usually go up are female and young. They go up as I come in, especially if they don't know me. I come in, they go up. The males stay on the ground. The males greet me, if they want to greet me. The males watch me. A lot of times they're meshed into the trees or they're on the ground kind of like low crawling and Let's see what that is huh Let's see what this is nope that's not a Big tree came down. It's been really humid the past couple of days. It really doesn't make much sense to me. Oh shit. Sorry, it just registered to me that I never put bug spray on. Alright, let me show you something right now. See that? You see that bend? See this tree here? Sorry, I paused it at some point. That bend there, that ain't them. If it was, it would be pulled down and tucked into something or pulled down and tied onto something that tree is bending like that because it's growing probably towards the sun the sun probably rises in that direction so naturally that tree is just growing towards it and as it was growing towards it it just grew and gradually started to tip over so again that's my opinion maybe you think that Bigfoot did do that. That's up to you. Like, you know how we hire stewards, like, or, or we, 
ask people to be trail stewards, take care of. So this is the this is the epicenter. You see this tree right here? This is the epicenter. This is the oldest and the biggest or the biggest tree. It's the epicenter. What the f people. I like to try and vibe with the trees and kind of feel the energy. You could actually feel it. Like if you really, if you really give it all and really just like let go of everything else in your mind and and give it, give yourself a second to just really vibe with it. You could feel it. It has like a pulse. It has a heartbeat. Like maybe not in the sense like of you know a contracting physical organ, but like you could you could feel it. You could feel the life coursing through it. I used to think people were freaking crazy when they'd say that shit. I'd be like, oh, you're just a weirdo. Like, tree hugging weirdo. You know? But, I'll tell you, when I started receiving Reiki and I learned how much it was helping me and what it was doing for me, I wanted to learn it so I could pass it on to others. It's one of the most spectacular things I've ever encountered. I've been around this entire globe. Well, maybe not the whole thing, but I've been to a lot of different spots. I'm not talking just touch down on them like I, I lived in them. And uh, Sarah as well. I'll tell you anyway. So anyway, the, the, that Reiki is something special. Something very, very special. This is where we usually gift, so Sarah sent me with some gifts, so we're going to gift here. They're a little heavy, so I don't, the only reason I held out was because I wanted to put them down, but the only reason I held out was because this is where I like to gift them. So, this is how many, this is how many of them are in the family. That's, you know, it's kind of my opinion and kind of what they showed me. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm kind of torn on it still, so. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but anyway. My, my understanding is that. Every member will leave a stick against the tree not quite a teepee but just lean it up against the tree uh, I came here a bunch of times and I, every time I asked if I could if it was okay if I left one you know if they could let me know it's probably five visits ago I got the okay and I added one onto it since then <clears throat> since then people have added onto it there's more there's more on here now but it looks like there is anyway. But I don't care about that. I just care that they, they gave me the okay, which made it made it feel pretty special.
There's a rock right over here. Excuse my language, but what the fuck? Somebody must have a dog, and the dog don't listen, because they're doing a whole lot of yelling. Boom, look at that. You know you're heavy when there's, when there's, what's it called there, and you break it. Could be a deer, don't get me wrong, but he stomped. He stomped hard. Jesus. I feel like I'm on Long Island with the loud noises as always. Ruining my vibes. All of them. Alright. So. Do, 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 do. Trying to find them. Oh, here's one. It is a beautiful ceramic mug and the um well it's like a milk pour thing for your coffee but anyway they have feathers on them which we thought was pretty cool i thought that was a beautiful idea she goes and hand picks out all these things at uh like different thrift stores and stuff that's one i'm looking for the other one it's a statue of sorts. Here we go. There we go. Thought that was kind of cool. Pretty nice. It's got the blue in it too. From our family to yours, huh? I hope you guys can see that. But I'll do one more. When I pick the camera up, I'll put it put it on it just in case. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of cheat. That's for you, my friends. Sorry about all the noise over there. So what we're going to do is come down. Come down here and kind of cheat and pop out. Sunday morning church traffic's coming through. That's traffic around here. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, look, sure as shit, it was a guy with a dog. That's where we come in at, all the way, all the way back there. So that, you see how far we went in this direction? It goes, it goes in the other direction too from the parking lot, about right around the same distance. And then it continues, obviously. The woods continue in every direction, but that's just what this particular property, you know, uh, has to offer. Pretty cool, right? Nice. It's not a clear day, but you could see quite a bit up there. That house looks like a dot, but it's a fucking mansion. Never mind. Let me remind you quick. You guys can zoom in times eight. After, after I'm zoomed in, you guys can zoom in eight times more. I want to work on getting something that'll 
zoom in more than this one does. Oh, here we go. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm gonna pause it. I don't like to put people on camera. I thought that was kind of interesting, actually, that um, there's like a string of just these orange. Look at that one in particular. Where is it? Look at that one. Look how orange that one is. But the, over there, there's like a string. Almost like just a row of that orange. I wonder why they all grow just in that particular spot. This guy was fairly rude, but I guess, I don't know. Maybe it was just standoffish. Most people that go hiking, I mean, I'll just show you what I'm wearing. Like a black hoodie, black hat. Like most people wear like colorful shit. Like I, I don't think that far, you know? I just kinda wear what the hell I got on. Black pants, I'm probably not. Probably not properly dressed. I mean, there's no hunting here, but. All right, guys. This has been a long, a long morning. Followed by a long night. Check out tonight, uh, five, five Eastern. 5 Eastern time is, uh, I'll be live with Unidentified S4. If you're not there, you should be. He does a lot of wide variety of stuff. Um, later in the week, I might be scheduled to do, uh, I think, it, I forget what day it is, maybe Thursday, Bobby Dizzle Podcast. Um, but I'll post that again. I'll post that again after, uh, or I'll remind you guys again when it comes closer, I should say. Um, yeah, all right, that's it for now. I need to eat because I'm starting to lose my train of thought on every, on every turn. So I'll just say... As always, stay safe. Have a blessed day. Sunday, have a blessed, blessed Sunday, actually. Enjoy your Sunday. And, um... We're gonna start doing streams on LIB again. Alright? And... We're gonna get serious. We're not. We're gonna sit down and we're gonna we're gonna dive into shit. All right. We're gonna really dive into shit. I don't know. I want people to. We need to hold people accountable. We really do. Cause this. There's too much going in circles and going in circles and going in circles. Um, even the Patty film. Like no, no, you know, no disrespect. But like, I have good footage, right? Some of you would agree. Do I regurgitate it all day, every day? Go over it, or, or obsess over it, and pick, pick it apart, and spread it all over the world, and... No. What's next? Go, 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 go. What's next? Go. If they're there, go get more, right? I don't know. But I'm just tired of watching the same regurgitated shit happen over and over and over and over. And that's where people are going. No, I don't care. You guys know. I don't care if you come here. But there's people doing amazing things with amazing information. I mean, guys are putting out books that are just, I mean, giving all the answers that people want. There's guys standing there doing these, and they're, I'm watching them, and they got, like, no subscribers. 1,000, 2,000, 500, 100. Whatever. We're gonna fix shit. 
All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you.